Hi, you are watching a GW Micro informational program. I'm your host, Tony Kayumi. Our guest today is Carlos Taylor. Carlos is an adaptive computer technology specialist. He runs the computer lab at Ball State University, which provides access for people using disability products. He is also an end user. Today, we're talking about window eyes. Thanks for joining us, Carlos. Thank you. Can you tell us how window eyes makes it easier for you to do your work? Well, actually, it would be impossible for me to do my work without window eyes. Uh, being that I work at a university, there are several people to uh, keep in touch with. So uh, checking email, uh, keeping appointments in the calendar, um, being able to read blogs and product manuals, research information on the web about various items, um, and, and so many different things that I do uh, would be impossible without the use of window eyes. In what way do you use the um, scripting capabilities of Window Eyes? The scripting capability is very, very nice. Uh, there's a few scripts I'll mention that I like. Uh, there's one that I can use to check the weather uh, outside. Uh, it's kind of handy to know what the weather's like before I actually go out of my building to uh, venture off to another part of campus. Um, also, the progress indicating uh, script is really nice because I can uh, hear the progress of a website or a program that I'm installing and know that either that program is running smoothly as it's installing or um, if something's not right and the progress uh, is, is not moving. So that's, that's very handy to know those items as I'm using window eyes. What about the place marker function? The place marker function is a very, very nice feature to have uh, to know when I, when I go to a complex website, to know that I can place a marker uh, at the important text that I want to read and then later go back to that same part of that website by pressing a key. Uh, I use it a lot for my Gmail account, for example. When I open a new message, there's a lot of links that I am not really interested in. I'm, I'm only mainly interested in the text of the message. So I have a place marker set so I can press a key and skip directly to the beginning of the message. How easy is it to download a Window Eyes script? GW Micro has a web page called Script Central that makes it very easy to go uh, find a script and download it. Um, and even once you download a script, it's very easy to install. You don't have to worry about um, placing a file here, placing a file there. It's very automatic and you really don't have to worry about knowing exactly where the files are supposed to be. They just uh, go to where they're supposed to be and, and the script works. Um, it's also very easy to update scripts. Uh, within Window Eyes itself, there's a utility that you can use to update the scripts that you are using and it just checks uh, to see if there's an update available and if there is, it gives you the option to download and install it and it's, it's very, very easy to use. As a Braille reader, how do the enhanced navigation capabilities help you? It's very nice as a Braille reader to have the advanced navigation uh, features because as you're reading with a Braille display, uh, you have to use your hands to move up to the keyboard if you're you know, reading in Braille and then vice versa, place your hands from the keyboard on the Braille display. But having advanced navigation uh, features allows you to keep your hands on the Braille display and then use the keys available on that display to navigate through what you're reading. What about the iTunes 8 capability? iTunes 8 is very nice. Uh, before iTunes 8, iTunes really wasn't accessible to me. So um, since GW Micro worked with Apple to make iTunes 8 accessible, it was very nice to be able to use iTunes because that's a very popular product, a very popular uh, software application that many people use not only to listen to music uh, on their computers, but to also uh, download that music into an, a portable music player. So having access to iTunes 8 was a, a tremendous breakthrough in my view. And the accessibility to PowerPoint and Excel? Being that I attend several meetings, uh, people typically use PowerPoint uh, where I work to convey information. So it's very nice for me to be able to ask that individual for the PowerPoint file and then access that information on my own and read the, the points that they uh, 
address during their presentation. Uh, Excel is very handy to use because especially if you're working with a lot of numbers or if you just want to be able to format information in nice rows and columns, the feedback that WindowEyes gives in Excel it makes it very, very easy to use and know uh, how things are presented to a visual user. Thanks for your time. We appreciate you being here, Carlos. If you'd like to learn more about GW Micro products, just go to gwmicro.com.